you guys, it's Lindsay and Abby and we are here for probably one of our most requested videos that we've gotten since we started Inside the Hem and people want to know what we're planning on making. So we are going to be talking today about the things that we think that we're going to make in <laughs> August. Neither of us are very good at sticking with a plan. Um, so that might be why we haven't done these videos before now because it feels a little bit like a promise that will probably <laughs> break <laughs> yeah no. i'll have it like all set in my mind before i go to bed i'm like i'm gonna cut this fabric with this pattern and then i'll wake up the next day i'm like no <laughs> that's <laughs> something completely different what was i thinking <laughs> yeah exactly it's like a, mood, a bit of a mood thing yeah. and then it's just like i don't know inspiration yeah mm -hmm. comes in in different ways so yes. this is what we think we're going to be making for for in august mm -hmm. um we picked three things um which is probably ambitious considering you summer break is ending it's ending sad um i have a birthday in august so i'll probably be traveling like i normally do so I think we're already out of the gate, I probably. Know. It's so <laughs> behind hot. the ball. We won't be able to go outside, so maybe we'll be stuck inside sewing. Okay, maybe it'll know. rain one weekend, and then we can knock out three yeah. things. Anyways, we'll okay, <laughs> so I'll start. My first one is this Butterick pattern, 5600. Um, I have already made this. This was actually one of the very first things I ever made, certainly within the first year of sewing. Um, I was taking sewing classes. I was taking the advanced sewing classes when I made this. So I had like, you know, a real seamstress who knew what she was doing. And I felt very comfortable um, doing this with her. But those classes, you, you did all the sewing yourself. Mm -hmm. So that dress, I don't know, like the, some of the bias tape didn't catch. Some of the hem didn't catch. Um, it's not perfect. And also... I don't know if I have like grown throughout my chest in the last couple of years, but the arm size are like way too small. Like it was cutting into the side of me here when I tried to wear it this week. Or maybe you thought it fit when you made it and you just didn't maybe want to admit it. <laughs> yeah, or maybe it's chambray, so maybe it's, it's it continues to shrink yeah. um, the number of times that I've washed it. But either way, that dress has made its way to Goodwill. So someone will be very happy. And maybe I'll see her on town. Have you ever thought about so that? Cool. Yeah. <laughs> so, but I do love the dress so much, and I always got a ton of compliments every time I wore it. So I want to make it again. That's what I'm getting at. So I made version A. It has like a cute ruffle placket. It's a, it's a button-up shirt dress, no collar, um, and has like a, you know, when they do the elasticized waist, but it's fabric sewn on top of the mm -hmm. finished garment. That's that's what it is, and it has a little tie. It's really cute. Yeah. And and so I have some of this. I don't know, it's like a steely gray, bluish greenish color. Mm -hmm. um, I want to say it's chambray. What do you think? I can't even remember, but I think <laughs> I got it at fabric.com or no, at Joann's. Shoot, I don't even remember. It's been in my stash for so long. <laughs> so either way, um, I have enough yardage and so I'm going to make it. And I think it'd be a good like, you know, blank slate to accessorize mm -hmm. and have some fun with. Anyways, yeah. so yeah, that's cool. the first thing. like it. Thanks. All right, so my first thing is a pattern that I've had for a while that I just could not settle on a fabric for because I really wanted to show off the, it's finished with bias tape all um, across the neckline, the straps, it's all bias tape. So I really wanted to play that up. So um, you might have seen seen in our um, June July favorites video that I talked about some Liberty bias tape I found on Etsy. So actually that's how I ended up finding the bias tape was I was looking for something for the stress. I'm like I really want to sew it. It's been sitting there for so long. So I picked out a bias tape that actually happened to be a perfect match for this fabric. Um, got this at Metro in New York City. You did? Remember it was like a last minute like, oh, I'll get it. It was so cheap. No, oh, I don't so remember. Cheap. Yeah, I don't, I mean, it's, it almost feels like it's got a little silk in it. Yes, definitely. <laughs> cheap <laughs> equals silk. Right. But <laughs> that, that's what it feels like. I'm sure it's not. Um, but it's, it's got like a little um, dot. So yeah, like an embroidered dot on it. Yes. Mm -hmm. So, um, it's a really fun color and it like just looks perfect. Yeah, that's gonna be tape. so cute. Yes. 
You know what else I was thinking? You know that video we did for the, the haul, fabric haul? Mm -hmm. Look at this bodice. Wouldn't that be so cool with the stripes? Mm -hmm. You could do like a pinwheel with yeah. stripes. Then you have to make sure that's it's inspiring. All match up. Well, yeah. It's, <laughs> it's, so maybe not for August. Yeah. Put that in like Next 2017. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So are you going to make the regular skirt regular. or the high-low? Not going to do the high-low because this fabric, I think, is a little too crisp. It'll drape okay. so nice. So yeah, I'm just going to do the regular hem. Cute. Um, yeah. The only other deer and doe you've ever made is the one with the... I made back. actually quite a few of the oh, patterns. Okay. The, the back, the one with the back, um, they're the button up Bella dress. Joan, that one's called. Yes. That's I don't know how to say any of their patterns. Sorry. Oh, yeah, no. Centauri? Centauri? I don't know. American. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> anyway, so that's my first one. Cool. cool. Yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> Okay, so this next one, I'm actually wearing the tester version of this. This is Blank Slate Pattern's newest pattern, the Lara Lynn. Um, it is basically just a shift or sheath. I get them confused. Shift. It's a shift dress, center front seam. It has this little v-neck detail, um, welt pockets. Um, what other detail does it have? It doesn't have a sleeve, but it does have this like extended, mm -hmm. Here's like cap like, kind of twist. Yeah, we have it. Um, so it's a really great simple pattern. And so what I thought was is I bought some peach skin, some black peach skin. This is from Joann's, and we also have leather bias tape. Oh yes. And so I thought I would bind. That will be so cute. Bind. Or even do like all the way down yes, the front have to do and this. do the welt pockets. That would be really cute. Yeah. Yeah. So you were just saying you didn't know what to do with that. What we found, we found it in New York City. We're yeah. Like, we're just getting this because it's. I know that awesome. one day, yeah, it's gonna be, it's gonna be cool. Yeah. Um. So we got that at um. It was one of those the little, little teeny. Ones. But they do. Uh, Stylemaker Fabrics sells it. Oh really? Yeah, I saw it on her trims section the just the other day when we were buying for that that whole video that we did. Yeah. Um, so, and I, I mean, maybe you can find it on Etsy or eBay or I'm anywhere sure, else. Yeah. It's not as uncommon as I think we thought it was when we saw it there. But we found it for a really good price. Yeah. <laughs> yeah we really did. Yeah. So that's, that's what I want to do with this. Thank Super you. simple pattern, but dressing it up with mm -hmm. some trim. Yeah. Love it. Awesome. All right, so my next one is also something super simple. This I've actually made before. It's just a new look, like one of those 99 cent or dollar 99 patterns you know you see on the spinning rack um but it's just a simple little skirt um not too much flare kind of hugs you a little bit but not too much um so i had some leftover fabric from it's that colette mm -hmm. seamwork adelaide adelaide dress just enough this skirt tastes like no fabric at all just enough to squeeze yeah. out this skirt. So I've already got it all cut out. So that's yeah. a head start there, right? One and one eighth yard. Yeah. And, and I, no, one of them is only seven eighths. Um, yeah, that's the one I cut, B. Okay. And then I held it up to myself. Of course, it was way too long. I'm only 5'4". So I even hacked some off of that. So it was even less yardage. Wow. Yeah. That is amazing. Yeah, I might have got it out of a half a yard. Because this fabric's also wide. So, mm -hmm. yeah. So I was actually thinking about putting this um, lace trim down the front. I was just playing around on Pinterest looking at Lily inspiration skirts mm -hmm. and they had one um, where they put just lace down the center of the skirt. I can't decide. I don't know if it's a little funny looking. I don't know. I think it's cute. I, I think, think it's cool. Wide enough, though. Yeah, you're not a wide person. Yeah. So for you, that's like, picture it. you know, not half I'm of you. I'm torn but. because I also have another dress um, on my Pinterest board that's just a navy dress and they took the eyelet here. Yeah. And it was so cute. So I just can't decide if I want to use it for this skirt or if I want to save it and try to make that. Would eyelet. you make this? You just make this skirt without that then? Well, yeah. That's what okay. I'm going okay. to Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, if I want to add it or not, let me know what you think. Yes. I, I like people's opinions. <laughs> yes, let us know. Let us know. Okay, so my third one, this is, I pre washed my fabric, so folded it right sides together, <laughs> is this really bright. Uh, what is this? I think it's, um, shoot, what's the name of it? It fell out of my head. Um, it's like a textured cotton. What's Dobby? Not no. Dobby. Textured into like, why can't I remember the name of it? I'll leave it in the description box. <laughs> so I'm mad at myself. It'll come to me. 
probably as soon as we stop recording. Probably. Anyways, it's like a textured cotton, oh, man, um, by Liesl and Company for Joanne Fabrics. Um, this was on, in their clearance section, so for the 4th of July holiday, clearance was half off, so I got this for like $3 a yard. <laughs> um, and I just thought it was really cute. It reminded me a little bit of the whole Lily, mm -hmm. Kate Spade kind of thing, and what I want to make from it is the tape top into a dress. Mm -hmm. So I think that would be really cute. I think I need to steal your trim. No way. Uh, uh, I'll, I'll link you to that Etsy shop. <laughs> Thank you very much. I'll take some of this and I'll put it that right down the center. That would be so cute. Isn't that cute? Yeah. So I'll probably now have to go buy some trim yeah. to add. That would be really cute. To it. Um, even the Colfax. What if you took the placket mm -hmm. and interlined this with the, with any kind of trim mm -hmm. and almost made it part of the so it wouldn't have to be a neckline oh, trim oh i see what you're saying yeah i hope everyone else is following with that we have sometimes i think we've known each other for so long that i can like do a bad job of explaining yeah. something <laughs> abby's like okay yeah, yeah 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 i get it so anyways i don't know maybe that would make a really cute colfax too so you see yeah. i can't be changing my mind know, we said we're gonna do this and I, yeah well either way both those those dresses are pretty easy, easy. mix so it's not like yeah, and you think they both be cute. So. They definitely both would be cute for that. Okay, yeah. You talk about yours while I try and think okay. of what this fabric's called. Okay, so my last one is the new Megan Nielsen Reef set. This can be pajamas or it can be outerwear, just depending on the fabric that you pick. I'm right now sewing up my first pair of shorts in some leftover fabric from my Colfax dress, so hopefully I'll have that to share <laughs> with you guys soon, at least on my Instagram. Um, but I want to make a set out of this rayon shirting chambray shirting from style maker fabrics that i'm definitely going to order some more of because i also want to make either a top or a dress out of two um so i think it would be great as pajamas but i think you could also wear just the shorts <coughs> dressed up a little bit just like out to like a grocery store walking the dog kind of thing i think it could be pajamas yeah. or it could be white t-shirt yeah mm -hmm. tennis shoes yeah i think it definitely could be worn out as well so super excited about that i, I have a feeling i'm going to be making more than one reset Oh. Yeah. Cool. Very cool. So, yeah. That's all I have. Did you think yes. of your word? No. Oh. And I know there's so many of you out there right now going, it's this, it's this, and you're trying to send us the signal, but it's not coming to me. Oh. Anyways, I will hopefully add that below. If she doesn't think of it to add below, what is that? I know. Did, yeah, exactly. Didn't I mention I was having a birthday in a couple weeks? That's right. probably why I'm having this little bit of a senior moment. Yeah. Gosh. Anyways, um, thank you all so much for watching. Um, we will be posting our makes as we Hopefully. make them. As, yeah, um, on Instagram, we typically do that there. Mm -hmm. um, I'm sure we will be reviewing the reef pattern. Yeah, we might even do like a, a pattern review video for yeah, that. Yeah, because you want to make one too. Mm -hmm. So yeah, yeah. So um, you'll be seeing these things come to life hopefully either on this channel or on our social media so be sure to subscribe so you don't miss those videos and follow us on our social media so you can see all the updates there um give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe to our channel did i already say that Maybe, that's because that's, that's how important it's it is important. <laughs> so um subscribe to our channel so you never miss an upload and yeah just thanks so much for watching see you next time bye